Welcome Chili Pepper community members to another fun tutorial on an advanced feature in Chili Pepper called the Super Touch Plate. Uh, this widget was created by a member of the Chili Pepper community called Pyro AVR. So thank you Pyro AVR for your contribution. Uh, he actually took my Touch Plate widget, which only allowed Z probing, and he modified it to allow the X and Y uh, axes to also be included so you can get an absolute zero on the X, Y, and Z plane so that you can do some fun stuff like what I'm showing in this video uh, of milling out a precise piece on a vise. The um, super touch plate only has to be hooked up to ground and Z men. I have X men and Y men uh, hooked up too but I don't use those. You only need the Z-men, and that connects to my touch plate. And as long as it's conducting, which all I have to do is rest it, you're good to go. Okay, so I have to get a hole, a little hole drilled right up here in the corner, and then another one right here really accurately on this 4.2 millimeter wide piece of acrylic. So I'm going to have to... Um, get some really accurate positioning done here on uh, my vise to get this hole exactly where it needs to go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jog to your X position. Try to get the end mill pretty close because the probing only maybe goes I think 10 millimeters before it gives up. Hook up that ground wire. I'm probing off of the upper part of the shaft which I know is 1 8 inch or 3.175 millimeters wide. When you open the touch plate make sure you pick which coordinate system I'm using G53 which um, units of millimeter. You'll see that I might have even hit the cliff a little bit in that. Try not to do that because you'll get an inaccurate reading. My stuff ended up coming out fine but in retrospect I wish I had that clip a little bit further off. So you need to um, you need to enter the diameter of your bit, your end mill, into the touch plate widget as well. So if you can calculate correctly, jog up to the Z, run that. Make sure you get your plate height set to zero if you're doing it this way. I actually messed up in this video and I had it 1.75 millimeters off. Worked out okay for me. And then here your you're actually double checking that your X was correct by going to zero and then you're gonna double check Y by going to zero. I really wanted to double check Z as well but you gotta you gotta jog away from the vise to double check your Z just to be safe. Um, and then I measured with a caliper the width of that vise. It's 25.5 millimeters. So I'm moving in that direction and then sort of manually setting my uh, X to zero in machine coordinates to really get my true zero for the XYZ for how I set this up with my G code. Uh, I used Fusion 360 to create the G code for this operation. And then getting that workpiece flush, you just use a flat piece of something and then feel it with your fingers to kind of make sure you really believe it and then run the job. This is always a little bit scary because if that end mill hits into that vise, uh, it's going to be bad. Um, so you got to kind of go on faith that you had it set up correctly. Here we go. We're going to run the job. It hits the M6 tool change and then just click off of that and unpause it and watch the job do its thing. I get really close here with the way I designed this, uh, 0 0.1 millimeter, so I'm really almost right up to the edge of that metal. Turned out great.